Hi guys, this is Ranjit and as you can see, I have a television here with me. This is a 43-inch Samsung Series 5 uh, television and uh, many of you were asking me to review some uh, mid-range oriented television. So this is the one. This was recently launched in India and it comes in 43 or 49 inches. The one that we have right now is a 43-inch television and this is a fully full-fledged, what do you say, smart television that you are getting. And I'll talk about the features, what it has and what are the special features. The biggest special feature that I noticed with this television is the speakers it actually has 40 watt RMS output for example recently I reviewed some sound bars that actually had just 30 watt RMS so the sound output is actually really good on this one but let's have a closer look at this television now so this is the back of the television and it also has a visa mount so you can mount it uh, on a wall if you want and here is the power inlet for the same and again the back is completely plastic and here are the ports it actually has two hdmi ports one is over here this is actually a usb port and this is the hdmi 2 which does support arc that is audio return channel and we also have a cf card over here actually this television does not require a set top box if you just put the cf card directly you can connect it to a satellite television and if you use still use an old antenna television it's there aerial cable and all those things will be there we also have a lan port if you really want to connect it via lan you can do that uh, this is for digital audio out toshling and this is for your component uh, i didn't connect it with this wired lan i opted for wi-fi it does support wi-fi and all the footage that you would see would be over wi-fi so guys this is the television as i have mentioned it's a 43 inch television as you can see and it's a smart television and it is running on this uh, uh, Tizen interface that we have seen in expensive television for example the uh, Samsung QLED also has this interface and uh, it does offer a lot of functionality as you can see we can quickly move between paint for example let's jump to uh, Amazon Prime and it will quickly actually load Amazon Prime and this is powered by uh, a quad core uh, processor and it's a proper smart television so you don't need uh, stuff like Chromecast or Fire TV stick to be installed in this you can do that if you really want but you don't need that and it's loading Amazon Prime and uh, it's obviously connected to internet uh, and right now I have connected it via my Wi-Fi connection uh, so yeah that's what as you can see this is the Amazon Prime interface for example let's let me quickly show you a quick sample uh, let's just try to resume this video and see and as you can see i'm just playing this back and uh, i won't play it back don't want to find copyright issues but the audio is uh, one thing that i really like on this uh, it actually is having four uh, internal speakers set up and it outputs at 40 rms audio let me do one thing guys let me just get out of this and let's just go back to our youtube interface and let me try to play back some audio uh, files uh, that are not copyright so that you can have an idea about uh, the uh, what do you say audio let me just search for some copyright free music and let's play that i'm going to increase the volume it's actually pretty loud Another good thing with this television as I mentioned is that this one supports HDR10 so if you have some shows that are in HDR it really brings uh, the picture very lively uh, for example many of the Netflix shows and even on Amazon uh, Prime have HDR so you can enjoy that that's generally we don't find on televisions with 1080p uh, but that is there even on this one and now moving to the interface as I've mentioned uh, the interface is uh, this is the Tizen interface that I've seen even on uh, Samsung high-end television I own a QLED one and this is the same interface as you can see you can move between the panes and it's really uh, good and it also gives you a preview over here for example uh, the movies let's go to the prime what you're watching and stuff you go to YouTube the recent videos Netflix what you're watching uh, so it gives you that preview over here and you can also go here and uh, load uh, other apps if you want so you can expand the functionality for example these are some of the apps uh, as you can see these are the apps that are installed but you can install other apps also if you want for example ask the big flex or whatever uh, youtube have already installed uh, uh, internet and we also have some uh, panes over here for example third party apps 
for example, for music and radio, if you go here, you can install stuff like this. So mini app store is also there on this. And uh, many people ask me, I don't know why, it also has a web browser. If you go to the internet tab, uh, you will get the web browser and you can browse the web using this one. I don't know why you will do that, but if you really want to do that, you can actually uh, do that. And I did watch quite a bit of, uh, what do you say, uh, uh, videos and even some movies on Netflix and the experience was good, so especially the audio experience was really good. Now moving to another thing is that you can connect this one to your, uh, what do you say, smartphone using the SmartThings app. So again, you can install the SmartThings app, yeah, you can download from the Play Store and just open this and you, know, you get a remote, virtual remote over here. And if you, as you can see, I'm now controlling it with this smartphone. So you can do that and you can do a lot more stuff. For example, let me just go here. Let me connect to this. You can mirror your uh, phone to the TV. For example, now I see the TV. I'm just going to click this and it's going to mirror whatever is there on the phone to the TV. As you can see now, you can, I can see what it is. And if I go here, it's mirroring uh, what I have uh, here. For example, let's just go back here and if I move here, as you can see, you can see stuff directly on the television. So you can play back whatever you have on your smartphone directly on the television. It's really fast. Definitely, if you're going to get this, uh, you should install this app. And this works without any internet connection. It's just making a local connection between your smartphone and the television using this Smart uh, Things app. Also, this one has Bluetooth uh, connectivity, so you can actually uh, use it as a Bluetooth speaker if you want. So those uh, stuff are uh, there on this one. So guys, this is the supplied remote that we are getting with the television and it's a typical Samsung remote as you can see, but mostly uh, you'll be using the D-pad for uh, navigation and it also has dedicated buttons over here for volume channel and obviously if you use, uh, what do you say, old style television for uh, number pad, but this is the uh, remote. Not Thing that special I would say and it's an IR based remote controller that you're getting with this one. So guys uh, this was the Samsung uh, series 5 uh, television and it's a smart television and uh, it's a compact one uh, they don't make it in very large size 43 or 49 this is the smaller 43 inch uh, uh, version so if you guys have any other questions regarding this uh, television do let me know in the comment section I'll leave the links appropriate links for uh, this television in the YouTube description area so guys that's it for now for uh, this video if you again have any questions do let me know in the comment section I'll be more than happy to help you out Thanks for watching guys. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care guys.